What is going on guys? This is Ben here. So, a lot of you have been tweeting me that you spun your 7 day streak for your for spinning your Pokestop and you didn't get your guaranteed evolution item. I did a stream on this guys, I might be streaming more Pokemon Go on my YouTube channel so stay on the lookout for that. But yeah, it seems as though Niantic made a change that is no longer guaranteed that you get an evolution item. Which sucks, but it seems as though they have increased the drop rate or the chance to get them from regular Pokestops because a lot of people have reported getting more evolution items more frequently. So I'm going to test that out today. I'm going to be headed to Neenah, Wisconsin later today. It'll probably be at night or sometime at night tonight because I can do like a loop and I can get like 20 some Pokestops in the loop. That'll get me like the 10 Pokestops in a row bonus. And then it also, since I'm spinning so many, I'll, I'll see if I get any evolution items. If not, uh, whatever. But I actually had to re-record this section. I spun my Pokestop for my two day streak and did not get a, well, did not get one. But this is usually a nest, and honestly, I don't really know what the nest is, but we do have a Sudowoodo over there, so we'll go pick that up, spin the Pokestops, and then I actually do have my tax appointment today. That's, that's what's going to be during the middle of the day, and then tonight I'll go to Nina. so after the tax appointment, we'll be hunting Pokestops, but I have like an hour or two before that, so I'm just kind of trying to find Pokestops around my house to go spin. <laughs> All right guys, so we got the Sudowoodo here. We're going to click on them before he despawns, but it's uncharacteristically warm. In Wisconsin, I think I forgot my iPhone in my car, which is my personal hotspot for my Android. So that's maybe that's why I'm lagging a little bit. I kind of love how this studio just kind of stands there. But guys, funny story: if you did not watch my live stream <laughs> back when uh, Gold and Silver were first released for the Game Boy, I honestly was like probably 12, 10, somewhere around in that area. And I didn't, like, YouTube wasn't really existent back then. So I was at the point in the game where you had to get by Sudowoodo to go into the next part of the game because he kind of just stands there and blocks your way for one of the paths. And I didn't know how to get past him. So my young self actually got so fed up playing the game because I, I couldn't find how to get by this freaking tree and I quit the game. And then I didn't go back to it until like a couple years later when someone told me that you have to go and find this, uh, I forget what it's called, like some water bucket or water sprayer to get him to move. <laughs> And I finally found that out like two years, like, no, well, I finally found that out a couple years later and finally got past it and then beat the game. But yeah, Sudowoodo was the first Pokemon that made me quit playing that game for a little while because I got so frustrated with it. So this actually is like an Electabuzz nest. I saw another one. But we'll spin the Pokestop here. Dang, no evolution item. So I'm in a pretty rural area. Uh, these are like three Pokestops that are in a row that I know of that are quite close. Uh, and then I'm actually going to probably go to Lambeau Field because there's a lot of Pokestops around there as well. So those are the two areas that I know of in Green Bay that have a lot of stops. I guess downtown does, but downtown is pretty busy around this time because work is about to get done. Freaking Sudowoodo, stay in the ball. Another one. It does make sense because we're in a very wooded area. So like I'll show you. You can see the trees. Trees. So yeah, it makes sense, but... I don't know. I thought he was rare because I only got one of them before, but I caught two of them today. Watch, I'll like never see him again after this. Alright, got a great toss. Still trying to get used to that new technique, man, but he broke out. Okay, pseudo to flat us. It's alright. How does a tree flee you, man? We got Noctowl. This is actually my first one. 1,235. Hopefully we can get a critical catch on that one. We'll see it. Bam! or he breaks out, either one. All right, got that great toss. We are at Lambeau Field, as you can see. Come on. All right, got the Noctowl, great toss, did the trick. First one that I've seen, I don't even know how many candies I have for Hoot Hoot. Oh, is that Ariados? That's my first Ariados. Uh, I have enough spin arc and everything to evolve him. Come on. Alright, first Ariados. I have enough spin arc candies, I'm pretty sure. So, two not crazy rare Pokemon, but Pokedex entries. So, there we go. We, yeah, we have 106 already. Certainly caught the attention, though. Sadly, it's 115, but hey, we're getting those entries up there, man. So, guys, I'm back home. I gotta head to my tax appointment, but they're really... I was, I was spinning Pokemon up for 45 minutes around Lambeau Field, and... I didn't get any evolution items, and I didn't really catch anything good. The only, the best thing I caught was one Chikorita. So, not very successful, but I think it'll be better tonight at Nina, Wisconsin. But it is going to be dark out, sadly. 
but that'll be our next our next stop. All right, guys, there's a Chikorita that my Plus is trying to get. I think it started to despawn, yeah, with this flood, but there's a Cyndaquil now. So we made it to Nina, and spawned a bunch of stops already, and still haven't got, and at, well, we literally just got here, and there's someone behind me, so I'm gonna pull up a little bit. So we actually one-balled this bad boy here. We're up to 69 candies. It's above average, but for those of you that have never seen the park of Nina, the lure spots are right up here, and the lures that we all hit are the ones back there. And we're going to be continuing to hit those and hit those until we get some evolution items, but sadly we didn't get the Chikorita. It despawned when I was getting ready to record, but Syndicate we got. So this is mainly going to be a car video. Um, I did hatch this. I have four or five kilometer eggs hatching. I don't know what all spawned, but... So this used to be the area, I'll show you, that you, people used to sit and the park kind of got, the grass got really run down and I haven't been over here in a while, but they set up some interesting parameters so you can no longer sit in the grass area until maybe it grows back or something, but look at this. So they have caution tape down that entire that entire line or section where you can no longer go in there until who knows whenever they take these down or something I don't know if they're reworking stuff in there or what but it's interesting there's Teddy Ursa that's like the only one so there's actually used to be a Chikorita nest back when I was in Florida Key West I heard about it Ooh, good hatch right there but I was in Florida Key West and then the nest already changed like I think today or yesterday so no longer chicory to nest I'm, just gonna, I'm curious to see what it is freaking ponytail man trash hatch hopefully we get some 10 kilometer eggs though um it looks like hop hip hop ip currently so not a good nest anymore <laughs> Ah, and that was our 10 Pokestop right there, and we did not get an evolution line. We did get a 5 kilometer egg. But, yeah, you can see the park, man. It's got a lot of spawns. It's a very good park to play. For those of you that are wondering, Riverside Park, Nina, N-E-E-N-H, Wisconsin. Very, very good park. Yeah, this is definitely 100% Hop Hip Neps Nest, but Pineco, man! The only one that I've ever got was out of my 10 kilometer egg. Uh, so we're actually going to use the pinap berry here and an ultra bowl. Oh, I didn't use the berry. But this guy's rare. So this is the, this is my first one that I've actually seen in the wild. But we'll take it for the candies. Hopefully we catch it on this ball. He's not very strong. Come on. Yes. Let's go. So hopefully we get some Larvitar today. Uh, because I really want to get close to Tyranitar. But he's getting, uh, he's getting up there. 12 candies, slowly but surely. <laughs> I just got a King's Rock. Let's go. You see that? That's after like 45 minutes. <laughs> One of them. We'll continue on. <laughs> so right after we got that King's Rock, we have a Starmie. I don't know, it's not as exciting anymore now that Gen 2 is out. But I will say it is like 9.19 at night and we've been here for roughly uh, 45 to 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, we actually one balled him. All right. Hidden power and hydro pump. Uh, so yeah, the loop. I know a lot of you who watched my videos before know the loop, but it's like you go through here, hit all those stops, and then you go back around, hit all those other stops, and just spin mass amount of pokey stops. And so far, one evolution items, and that's not bad for only like 45 minutes to an hour. So the park is uh, really coming to life here. There's like eight lures going right now, and none of them are actually mine. <laughs> Usually before when it was me, I would have to be the one luring these up, but we got Slugma here. 414, wonder, defense, and it sucks that I actually did an evolution spree in my stream uh, <laughs> and got the evolution form of him, but we'll see what we get. Hey, Charmander. That's still a good hatch. Watch, it's like 100 IV. Please be 100 IV. Defense. Certainly, dude, all the, out of all the Charmander that I've hatched, they all have not been a super, like, amazing IV. But, really, nothing good. I, I think. Okay. Whoa. 
How does this dude have a Tyranitar? The gym froze. The only thing that I can think of is like maybe they spawn frequently here at some of the lures and or prison got hatching those or I don't know some funny business might have went down <laughs> who knows but first one that I've actually seen in a gym so we might go and battle that soon but yeah you can see the eight lures going down now so let's see who, 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 who dropped all these Kojo Mojo Shouts to you, man. So I've gotten all three starters today, all from my incense too. Well, the other, some of them have been wild spawns like the Chikorita and the Cyndaquil, and then I got a incensed Cyndaquil that I didn't record, and now we got an incensed Totodile. And I also had one Chikorita, but the Chikorita fled me sadly. But hey, got the Totodile. Still hoping for a good IV one. Can this be the one? Ah, certainly caught the attention. It's all right, we're up to 116 candies, so very soon you guys will see for alligator. I'm telling you guys, literally every time that I come here, at least one Dratini spawns. So, 630 on this one. We're actually going to be using the Pinap Berry. Uh, it's a nice little change that it actually shows the name of the berry on there now. <laughs> I don't... Oh, misclicked it there. I don't think it actually used to show that, but... Guys, I haven't actually caught a Dratini, it seems, in a while. I have enough for Dragonite. The best Dragonite moveset now is, like, Dragon Tail Outrage. Oh, no. Okay. Didn't flee me. But, yeah, my berry count has gone way up. Uh, it is snowing out now. We're actually supposed to get a decent amount of snow tonight. Uh, throughout the night, so it's probably just st starting a little bit. It's just, like, sprinkling right now, but... <sighs> Snow is back. Yeah, I haven't seen it since I've been back from Florida Key West. But there we go. We got the Dratini with the bonus candies. We got the six candies. Not like I'm wish, not likely to make much headway, but that's okay. I already have like a, a 93 IV one, I think. So 159 candies, though. I'm excited for that. Guys, I am a noob. I thought I was recording that last clip there. <laughs> <laughs> but I am home now. It is currently 12 o'clock. I did spin some pokey stops and did get a my third day streak for the lures and everything, but sadly I did not get another evolution item. So we went to Nina for about three or four hours. I don't really remember, uh, but I'm pretty tired. If you cannot tell already by looking at my, my beautiful face. But we did get what we came for when we went to Nina. We got one evolution item. Sadly, we didn't get more. Uh, I'm actually going to be throwing up the evolution on the screen i'm doing polytoad if you guys did not know you can use king's rock on your uh i can't even remember right now Slowpoke to get slow king and for king's rock you got to use a poly world to get polytoad and it's 100 candies it's crazy but i actually recorded the clip thinking my <laughs> five uh thinking my camera was recording but it actually wasn't so yeah we're getting polytoad there he has bubble and uh, ice or blizzard, I think. So pretty good move set. It's going to be pretty usable. I will eventually power up most of mine. And I was streaming yesterday, guys, uh, about the evolution items, uh, discussing the changes and doing Gen 2 evolutions. And I did my Sunstone evolution into Blossom. So I'll throw that one up on the screen. If you guys did not know, the Sunstone evolves uh, also Suncurrent into Sunflora. And Blossom is also the other one using Gloom. So it's similar to Polytoad. So I got those two done. All I really need now is, <laughs> well, quite a bit of them. Kingdra, Steelix, Scissor, Porygon. I think I covered Sunflora. I think I covered all of them now. Slowking. There we go. So still going to be farming those evolution items. Let me know if you guys are getting lucky spinning those Pokestops with the evolution item change. It seems as though they maybe increased the drop rate a little bit uh, for normal Pokestops and they took away the guaranteed seven day streak, but I already covered that. So with that though, guys, let me know how it's been going for you if you're farming up those evolution items more successfully than I have. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon Go videos and I'll see you guys later.